What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Insert magical noise here. All right, today we are going to talk about Kylie Jenner's pregnancy. Just kidding. We are going to talk about the Laura Lee Los Angeles brand new eyeshadow palette. It is called the Cat's Pajamas Palette and we're going to do a little swatch video review and we're going to create a little eye look today. And of course, I know a lot of the comments are going to be, Jeffrey, you're present Laura. You can't possibly give an honest review. Girl, I think I've established myself um, a year and a half later and y'all know I only speak the truth on this channel. I don't know about everyone else. So even though Laura Lee is my friend, it does not mean we are not going to give a real um, review because that's what we're here for. I do want to have a little friend moment because when you have known someone for a long time and you see the progress and you see them work hard behind the scenes and you see how much blood, sweat, and tears goes into something, you just get a, like, I don't know, I just feel really proud. I'm really excited and proud of Laura for continuing her journey. I mean, I remember seeing one of her earlier videos like years ago and she was just in her little bedroom with this, I'm gonna say it Laura, with a cheap camera and she was filming reviews and she had like 50,000 subscribers and here we are a few years later and she is over 3 million subscribers creating her own makeup line, merch line, traveling the world and it's just really cool to see your friends stick to their dreams um, and I think that that's really important because this beauty community can be so chaotic and dramatic and wild that we kind of forget what's important and I think that when you follow your dreams and never let anyone tell you no, that is a message that we should be spreading. So, Laura Lee, I am so proud of you. Congratulations on this palette. So I think let's just dive into the damn review because it's sitting here right in my hands and of course here is the unit carton for the Laura Lee Los Angeles Cat's Pajamas Eyeshadow Palette. So when you pull it out of the box, it looks like this. Look at that glitter, you guys. I need to like take the flash of my phone because when this is in the daylight or with a flash, look at that. Ooh! Let's open her up, shall we? Uh, yes! So here is the palette. Now there are 10 shades. Each pan does have 0.23 grams of product. Now I do want to note that this will retail for $40 and it is releasing on October 13th, Friday the 13th. So it will be out like in a hot flash. So this palette to me is a very Laura Lee. Now I didn't expect her to come out with hot pink or blue eyeshadows right off the bat because she's very into her neutrals, her darks, her burgundies, her reds. Um, so I think that this is a very good variety. And if you're someone that just loves a good neutral eye, I think that this palette will be easy to use, obviously. You can create a lot of looks with this palette. Now, as you see, I have not dived into this yet. I have, of course, you know me, Scout's Honor, I always keep it real. I have played with some of these shadows at Laura's house over the last few months as she was creating it, but I've actually never created a look with the palette or put more than one color on. So I'm excited to um, dive into this. So if you want to see me review the Laura Lee Los Angeles palette, then keep on watching. All right, so with this palette, there are a few formulas in here. There, of course, are these metallics, which look really blinding. And then there are matte shades, which, of course, you know I'm already going to gravitate for this one right away and put that on my brow bone. I'm like, hello. I'm just going to take my clean finger and I'm going to dip into the shade Redonculus. Okay, first of all, let's talk about the names. These names are so... Laura Lee, like they're very kitschy and cute and I love it. So Redonculus is this beautiful bronze color. Let's literally barely touch it. Okay, pigment. Now I know a lot of you are gonna be like, girl, don't say it just because it's, because it's, it's your friend. Girl, I don't give a fuck if I never met Laura Lee um, or she's my best friend on earth. You can't deny a pigment when there's a pigment in an eyeshadow. So these are very creamy, very expensive feeling. I mean, look at that. And they feel like lightweight. It doesn't feel chalky, it doesn't feel weird. And I'm just gonna blend this out with my finger. Mmm, -hmm, yummy. All right, I'm dying to touch Scatterbrain. It is like this beautiful gold shade right here. So I'm just gonna barely dip into her. Here is Scatterbrain, bam! Oh, that is such a pretty color. Imagine this like in the inner corner right about here. All right, so the matte shades, we're gonna dive into those right now and start applying them to my lid. I just kind of wanted to feel and touch for a second. Of course, I have primed my lids with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I do that with every review as I'm sure most of you know that by now. All right, so we are going to take a flat synthetic brush. This is what I used for the primer. And we are going to dip into shade Okie dokie, which is a beautiful like bone color matte white. Now I'm gonna barely dip in there. As you see, there is not a lot of fallout, basically like normal. There's a lot on the brush. 
Let's put it right on my lid. I am going to take this and put it all over, even up to the brow bone, because you guys know that's how I like to do things. Bam, and there we have it. Now I love putting really light colors under my brow and all over. It's almost like a second primer to me and it really makes everything blend seamlessly um, for later. All right, that color blended really nice. It looks very airbrushed and seamless. Now, of course, we're just gonna dive in and do a little color in the crease. I think, obviously, Bomb Diggity is a very cool transition shade. Let's just go in right now and see how it blends. No Tino shade, these blend like a dream, and not that I expected anything less from Laura. And let's let's just rewind it real quickly. I think when someone like Laura or myself review things for a living, you know a good product, obviously, uh, or, or you should. So it's no surprise to me that these shadows are blending really nice. I didn't expect Laura to ever put out anything subpar, and I think these are, I mean, just this is obviously only two out of ten of the shades, but they're blending very nicely. The transition color is blended out. I took the brush and I dipped into to, um, Bomb Diggity and I just lightly kind of flicked the brush this way so it just kind of drags out. And I love how that looks and it makes your eye look elongated. So I'm sitting here looking in the palette and I'm like, oh my God, there's so many looks I can create. I don't know what to do. Like I have so many thoughts in my head. I kind of wanted to take the gold color and put it under my entire eye with dark liner and mascara, so it's just like, hello. So I think I'm gonna do that for the lid right in here. I don't know. There's so many options. Okay, so I'm gonna just go in. Let's just go. Let's let's wing it, everybody. Let's take this shade Cray Cray, which is a more warm tone color, and we are just going to add in a little bit of that. So now we're gonna take that color Cray Cray, and we're just going to put it right on that crease moment and just tap the lid ever so slightly. All right, so now the eye is very smoked out and soft and brown. We are going to take the shade Redonculus, we're right here that we swatched earlier, and I'm gonna take a little flat synthetic brush, and we're just gonna apply that here all the way into here, so kind of like halfway on the eye. Now, I have not used this on the lid yet, we are going to try that, but I always spray my brush with Fix Plus, but I know a lot of you are gonna read me to filth if I don't try it without um, any Fix Plus or setting spray, so let's dive into there. All right, so we are going to take this brush and we are going to apply it right on the lid. So this one appears to have a little bit more fallout than the mattes. It is a high metallic shade, so maybe that is why, but it's definitely bronzy. So I brushed off the fallout before it got on my skin. Now with metallics, that definitely happens a lot, so this is why I like to just do a little bit. This is a Morphe setting spray. It works just as well as MAC Fix Plus. So now that the brush is a little wet, let's dive back in there. Oh my god, it's like coated on the brush now, baby. So we are going to take that and Put it right on there. And I'm going to bring that all the way down in here because I love putting shadow there. There we go. And then we are going to go back in with this brush. We're gonna hit Cray Cray one more time and just blend them together. Now we're gonna go into the pitch black shade Oddball with a little detailer brush and we're just gonna get in there. I don't know how pigmented this black is, so let's be careful. And I'm just gonna take this and tuck it right here in my crease. Oh, okay, well that's definitely black. Oh, I love a good black shadow. So I'm just gonna lightly buff this into the crease and not bring it down any more than that. So this will give a nice illusion of my, of course I have deep sockets, so when I look down I love um, how that looks, and then we'll just go back in with Cray Cray a little bit, and bam, there we go. Now I'm gonna take a little Tom Ford pencil brush, and we're going to dip into Scatterbrain, which looks like a very pure gold color. Of course, we swatched that one on my hand earlier, so I'm gonna coat my brush, girl. Now this has no Fix Plus on it, this is just dry, and I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna literally put it like under my entire eye and give a really golden look, and we'll pop in some liner and make her like bounce. Ooh, yes, yes, gold work. <laughs> 
Now, if you guys are not into really light colors under the eye, it's all good. You can go in with something else, but I just love shimmer under the eye with like dark liner. So that's what I'm channeling today. The gold is pressed into the skin and it looks really cool. I know I look a little alien right now, so we are going to grab some Max Boulder eye pencil. I think I've been using this shit for like 10 years. And I'm just gonna take my little beauty blender so I don't touch my own eye or skin. And we're just going to pop this right in the waterline. I love how liner looks. I think it makes everything a little more uh. So let's take a little look at the eye. Yes, come on, bronze. All right, definitely need some mascara for this look, but I think overall, I love how this is turning out. It is definitely very bronzy and very like, mm. Okay, you guys, so let's take some Benefit Roller Lash Mascara and let's coat these damn lashes. Mascara is done. I love how light gold looks with dark lashes creeping under. I think it looks so pretty. Um, all right, so I was gonna do lashes, but I really want the shadows to just speak and have their own moment. And I love when I look down, you can see the crease and everything in there is just kind of like, ooh. So I'm gonna do no lashes today, but of course I think we definitely need a lip on here. I'm gonna go with my all-time favorite nude on the planet. I know, let's self-promo right now. The Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick Shade Mannequin. This is my go-to, you guys. I wear this all the time. All right, the nude lip is on. I'm feeling the fantasy. Now we definitely need some setting spray, so let's go in with the Morphe Prep and set. <sighs> Girl, we're motherfucking set. Here is the final complete look. Now let's give our final thoughts about the Laura Lee Cat's Pajamas palette. Overall, I think the consistency of these shadows are great. I think the formula performed amazing. The only one that gave me a little bit of trouble was Redonkulous. I think, let's talk about it. I had foundation on my lids, I had the MAC primer, and I also laid down the matte shade. So sometimes metallics, when you put them over something that already has like three layers of product, it's not gonna blend as well. So I definitely am gonna try that shade again when I didn't do all that crazy shit to my eyes. But overall with the Fix Plus, bitch, it's blinding and it looks really cute. I love Scatterbrain all under here. All the mattes performed great. Now, obviously, we did not dip into these four down here. These are for another look, so I will have to do that in a later video. But just for everyone out there, I thought we could swatch. I love this, by the way. In one ear, out the other. Deceased. Okay, so we're just going to take our fingers. <gasps> Oh, fuck, I should have used that shade, damn. And then we'll go in with out the other and I'm gonna swatch them both for you. There they are, first of all, on the finger. And I love, oh, look at that. Fuck, man, I, I'm like totally feeling the cranberry vibes as well. Okay, we're gonna have to use this again, bam. And there are the, um, oh, this is like a metallic, yeah, kinda, huh? It's like a metallic-y, it's like a hybrid of like almost a metallic-y matte, but the shimmer on that is blinding. Okay, I was dying to try Corky. It's like a purple-esque shade right here. And let's go in, bam. Oh yeah, that is stunning. Okay, girl, these three need to get on my fucking lids immediately. All right, you guys, I had to show those off before the um, review is over. But overall, yes, God, the Laura Lee Cat's Pajamas eyeshadow palette is Jeffree Star approved. Um, I'm just really excited for you guys to see it, play with it. And if you're someone that just loves a good, neutral, dark, vibey, fall-esque palette, I think this is gonna be really good for an end of the year moment when we are diving into darks and neutrals and black lipsticks and burgundies and nudes. <sighs> I'm so glad summer's over. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you on the next one.